subject english standard 4 hello students my name is shruti nanavre so our today's topic is why english is so hard it is a poem before we try to understand why english is so hard let us understand little bit about english so before we understand about the poem let us understand what is english english is something which we use in order to communicate communicate means to tell our ideas to others so english is a language and why this english is called a language now what is a language suppose there are two people and these two people want to tell each other something example this girl want to say how are you so the second girl after hearing this question will answer and say i am good thank you so what are these girls doing they are using a language they are communicating with each other they are telling each other something so what is a language language is something which we use for communication so just like english there are other languages also like hindi hindi is our national language next is marathi marathi is our state language you must have also heard about languages like gujarati tamil telugu etc and there are so many other languages also these languages are from india so these languages are called indian languages just like india people around the world also speak different languages so people in france speak french language people living in spain speak spanish people in holland speak dutch people in saudi arabia speak arabic language and latin is also a language from which a lot of english language is born so this is about language and any language is used for communication and there are so many words in a language isn't it and english is a language is also made up of so many words so english is also a language like other languages that we speak so why this english language is considered to be difficult let's see the poem why english language is difficult or hard to learn so first we will read the poem why english is so hard we'll begin with the box and the plural is boxes but the plural of ox should be oxen not oxes you may find a lone mouse or a whole lot of mice but the plural of house is houses not highs if the plural of a man is always called men why shouldn't the plural of a pan be called pen and i speak of a foot and you show me your feet but i give you a boot would a pair be called beat that one may be that and three may be those yet the plural of hat would never be horse the masculine pronouns are he his and him but imagine the feminine she she's and shim so are english i think you will all agree is the trickiest language you ever did see here poet says we will begin with the box and the plural is boxes students hope you have remembered 
about singular and plural so one noun is called as singular and more than one is called as plural so a one single box is called as a box but when it is in more quantity we called it as boxes but the plural of ox should be oxen not oxes do you all know the plural of ox yes it is oxen and why not oxes if box is boxes then ox should be oxes so here we find something strange in english language you may find a lone mouse or a whole lot of mice lone mouse means one mouse if it is one we called it as mouse but when there are many we called it as a mice but the plural of house is houses not highs so house means singular then what is the plural of house it's houses if mouse is mice then why not house is highs if the plural of a man is always called men a single person is called man then the plural of man would be men why shouldn't the plural of a pan be called pen if we follow the rule man is singular and men is plural then the plural of pan should be pen but it is not so the plural of a pan is pans and i speak of a foot and you show me your feet do you all know what is foot foot means it is a part of our leg which we use to wear our shoes or sandals so for one we call it as foot but for many we call it as a feet but i give you a boot would a pair be called beat now for one we say boot and for pair pair means two for pair will it be called a beat no a pair is always called as boots that one may be that and three may be those students when you point out something we say that example that is a book that is a bag and if there are many we call it as those example those are bags those are umbrellas yet the plural of hat would never be horse say if that is those then hat should be horse but no that is wrong the plural of hat is hats the masculine pronouns are he his and him so students pronouns are the words that are used in place of a noun so if masculine means male or a boy if masculine pronouns are he his and him example he is a boy his hair is black in color i spoke to him etc but imagine the feminine she she is an shim now feminine means female or a girl the feminine form of he is she the feminine form of his is her but not she's the feminine form of him is also her and not shim see there is so much difference between each and every word we don't follow the same rule all the time so our english i think you will all agree 
is the trickiest language you ever did see so students usually in our mother tongue like marathi or hindi we follow the same rule for almost all the words but in english it does not so so do you feel that english is a trickiest language yes it is a trickiest language so we should practice it more students you would have observed each and every stanza of a poem has a rhyming words so now let us see the rhyming words from the poem first is boxes oxes mice hies men pen foot boot feet beat that hat those hose him shim agree see so students hope you have understood our today's poem so keep learning till then thank you